This video by Justice and Mercy Energy Services discusses the difference between electricity and energy and talks about how some people um, steal electricity from utilities. So electricity is energy delivered by electric current. That's my definition. And for all systems like this, we're gonna need an energy source and an energy sink. The source is where the energy comes from, the sink is where it's going. So examples of energy sources would be like generators or inverters or batteries. And examples of energy sinks would be things that consume energy like lights and fans and motors and toasters. So how do we get it from the source to the sink? And if we're delivering this energy with electricity, then we use uh, two conductors, two wires. Okay, and this is what you've seen before uh, with the idea of a completed circuit. It's got to go uh, from the source to the sink and then back from the sink to the source. Furthermore, uh, we're going to be talking about AC. So really, the, the electric current goes back and forth and it changes directions uh, in North America anyway, 60 times per second. But so even though the current is going back and forth, the energy is being delivered from the source to the sink in a one-way direction. So energy only flows from the source to the sink, um, even though the electricity, uh, the, the electric current, it, it goes back and forth. And furthermore, the electric current needs a complete path to, to uh, both two conductors, one uh, from the source to the sink and another from the sink back to the source. So how do we measure this energy uh, flow? Well, I'm going to redraw the source and sink now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a meter in between them. This is an energy meter. And there's all sorts of energy meters uh, out there. And we're going to run the two wires through that meter so they can measure both the voltage and the current. Here's an old school meter that kind of has a little rotating disc to measure the energy uses of a house. Here's a more modern um, smart meter with a digital display. The idea is that current flows um, around the, the loop here, just like it did in the previous illustration. Uh, there's also a voltage difference between the two conductors. And if I multiply that voltage times the current, I get power. And the units of power are kilowatts or watts, depending if it's, if it's a low level, but kilowatts is the, is the typical. And then power times time gives me energy, which I measure in kilowatt hours, which you can see power in kilowatts times time in hours would be kilowatt hours. All right, so here what I've drawn is a, uh, a little power pole with a couple of power lines. This is a simple uh, system, only two lines only, and no transformers or anything like that. And what I wanna do is deliver a little power from these lines to my house. And the house has many energy sinks. And I don't mean sinks like bathroom sinks, although that's funny. Uh, I'm talking about it could be lights, fans, toasters, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I'm going to run those, I'm going to connect wires from these two conductors on the power distribution system. And I'm going to direct energy from that system into the house. And I'm going to measure it through the meter. Okay, so again, my current is flowing in a, on a round trip uh, path using these two conductors. And it's also flowing back and forth, back and forth because of the AC nature of uh, the power delivery. And I have a voltage that exists between those two wires. Okay, so if I let those wires touch, I'm gonna get a short, I'm gonna get a spark, but I keep them separate. Okay, so in this configuration, then the meter is measuring the energy that is flowing from the distribution system to the collection of energy sinks in the house. That's the power that's being consumed. And we're going to say that the units are in kilowatt hours, which is, is typical for when we're measuring energy in electricity terms. Typical prices in the U.S. are 10 to 15 cents per kilowatt hour. And this varies a lot um, around the, the country and uh, around the world. How to steal energy, this is something that goes on around the world, especially in, uh, in poorer countries. And so again, what we might have is a home, a meter, and that meter might be physically mounted on the uh, outside of the, one of the walls of the, of the home. 
uh, like it is in the United States, mostly in the in the backyard or something. If I were to go in and tap tap these wires upstream of the meter and make an, an, a connection, I could bring that to a, another sink, or even I could even bypass the meter and bring it back to my home. And now energy is not only flowing through the meter to the uh, intended sink, but I can also have energy flows in to this uh, secondary sink that is not being measured. In other words, it's not being counted. It's not being counted because it doesn't go through the meter. And therefore, uh, the utility company does not know that I've consumed it. And this goes on a lot in a lot of poor countries. They make um, illegal connections and uh, it's, it's dangerous, of course. Um, I'm going to draw my two wires coming in and out of my meter. Uh, now I'm going to kind of draw them as cylinders now. And if I were to look at a cross section of that, each of those conductors, I would have a conductive core surrounded by an insulating cover, usually a plastic type of uh, cover. So one way that uh, people bypass these meters is they take a, a small nail or a needle or something uh, with you know, that's sharp and it can penetrate that insulator and they stick it in the wire and it uh, makes contact with the conductor. It goes through the insulator, makes contact with the conductor, and then they uh, put wires that go to the load that they intend to power, the, the sink. Okay. What this allows you to do is then uh, when people come by to inspect later, you can remove the nails or remove the needles and and they, the little holes in the insulators tend to close up. And so you, uh, you go undetected. It's hard to hard to catch those as long as long as they take those illegal connections out. So one way to get around this is to make the, the meter physically difficult to get to. In other words, instead of mounting it on the side of a home, it might be better to mount it on, this, on a tall pole, which would make it uh, difficult to access. So Justice and Mercy Energy Services, we design, install, and maintain solar energy systems in Haiti to combat energy poverty and create jobs. So check us out.